Welcome back everyone, I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and we ha currently have a scavenger jackpot. A scavenger has returned to New Reno. With reports of an intact military base we thought lost with an energy weapon stockpile. Traditionally, scavengers have the right to the property they find, but we could use our new police force to seize his funds. On the other hand, if we respect his claim, it will cement our claim to stand for order and rule of law. We can tax that, right? Which, we could use a few more guns, because right now, we're not looking good on guns. Or laws apply to the people and the government alike. Now, legitimacy really doesn't matter to me too much. Obviously, if we get some more legitimacy, it'll help us out a little bit. And I like the political power. It's only 3% more legitimacy, but the political power is nice. And because we have out with the old, I kind of want to go, go down this route, because we can always use more political power, right? Apparently, we just had the first battle of Hoover Dam. Cool. Old wall, wall, old world wall hold. We do have some comments to go through, like I said. Ooh, actually, this stuff, not ideal. Cool, we're doing research shifts so we get some more weekly uh, war support, which I think is very nice, very, very nice. I don't want to hurt my output right now, we can't afford that. And we've just welcomed the Vault City citizens, and we've lost 5% legitimacy. Alright, whatever. Uh, 38, 39 caps ish. I'm considering doing military signing on bonuses, but I'm also considering doing bribe NCR officials. Yeah, that might be really good. But, let's go do this one. So, we just did this one. We got some more, a little bit more stability too, which is nice. Fruit, other labors would be really nice. I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do military industrial complex or civilian infrastructure, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. Mm, is there anything here I want to do first? I like the communist stuff. I like cracking the code. Actually, this isn't bad. We don't have any guns though, which really sucks. Mm. Actually, which... Well, we're going to go down this way. Fruits of their labors, anyway. Putting Vault City in charge of research programs has opened new opportunities for us. Give us some more political power. We got all this technology. Oh, and we can make guns so much faster, which I really, really, really want. And I changed occupied territories to caravan guards this way. Compliance is going down a little bit more. If you'd like to read about the rag stack, can't shove guard ahead. But we still keep 100% compliance. Anything above caravan guards lowers our com daily compliance because it's so high already. So we'll take 40 cases. 1% eh, more stability. Eh, I'll get that one. I almost never choose that one we just chose. But anyways, uh, this was one of the comments that I missed from yesterday, and the person that replied again with the same comment. What DLCs do I have installed, actually? That's a very good comment. The DLCs I currently have installed for this campaign, actually all my campaigns, are pretty much every single DLC except for the additional stuff, such as the Allied Speeches Music Pack, the Radio Pack, as well as the Axis Armor Pack. Other than that, those three, I've got all the other DLCs. So, because someone wanted to know... I decided to answer. All right, let's see. Economic advisor. Yeah, like I said before, every time I look here, I'm, I'm hoping that we find more stuff here. But I'm always disappointed. <laughs> um, this guy will be good eventually. We're going to grab Russell Garnett just because I want to build up more civilian factories. I want to build more infrastructure. So we'll get there eventually. Let's see. We'll take two months to get metalworking, which is fine. And we do got to keep a good chunk amount of political power for... Well, not that one, but hide activities from the NCR. So, as someone did point out in the comments from the last video, I don't care about legitimacy because I'm going down the reformist path that negates legitimacy. I mean, we already have a third, 33% of legitimacy relevance already negated. So, it is what it is. You know, whatever. And basically, we're going to have to go down the autocracy path for Mr. Granite here. Cool, we got about 10 days left. That's good enough for me. Genetic screening. Why not we lose all the legitimacy now that we have? In the new America, we recognize that all men are created equal, but <clears throat> some are more equal than others. We get 10% more oligarchy, whatever. We're still reformers. We're still intellectuals. We still have our buff that allows us to get more intellectuals every day. So, and, But we do get technocratic administration. Division attrition minus 5%, which is okay. Consumer goods factories minus 2%, which is really nice. And 5% more stability. I think that's, I think that's overall that's pretty worth it. Pretty darn worth it. It looks like we need a little bit more manpower. We lost a little bit of manpower. Because we just made another division. Implant. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, we got even... Oh, yes. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Common weaponry. So it has how much soft attack? Three breakthrough, nine soft attack. Or... Eight breakthrough and 20 soft attack. Oh, man. That makes it sound so good. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And actually... Mm, we do talk about planes, so so why do I go with gliders? Because eventually, as did, someone did point out down here, we do get the new knights. We get the F-85 fighter eventually. So we look at the F-85 fighter. Oh, that's a nuclear jet fighter. Actually, F-85. Well, that's a Xeon. 
But why did I choose gliders? First of all, if we can produce them, that will make it easier for us to actually put on the fighters once we research or get that focus done. So we, we would already have some production um, efficiency already geared towards that, first of all. Secondly, gunships, we have gunships, okay? and But they're not, gunships are not fighters. So all they can do is ground attack for the most part and naval bombing probably. So they could, they could get torn up by enemy fighters and gliders and stuff like that. So I really don't want my gunships torn up. So that's why we're doing it like that. This way gliders, hopefully even fighters, will be able to defend those gunships as best as possible. I don't know. I would love to go principal. I love getting more recon. But with the purists, I mean with the enclave, it doesn't make sense to go down the principal. Purity is where it's at. More soft attack, more defense, more hard attack, less crudible population factor, whatever. And better reinforce rate, and more special capacity, special forces capacity multiplier, which is very nice. Genetic screening, and then we're going to go immediately probably for first citizens. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, we can place power in the hands of specially chosen, educated, uncontaminated Americans. Lacking the brutish impulses of wastelanders, they will rule tough, but barely. We get more oligarchy support, which I don't care about. Stability, war support, and the penalties from this go even further and further down, which is absolutely important to us. Alright, let's keep an eye on this. So, that's 140. Now it's 130. So, it gives us even more time. So, before we do go to war... Oh! Armageddon Station. Armageddon Estacion has been abandoned since the Great War. Falling into disuse, but with the control of both Gloria and Armageddon Estacion, Santa Ana can now gain, or now seize, open the facility. All systems get quiet since the Great War. Flicker on. The flickering lights of a protracted and sinister science. And may God have mercy on us all. Santa Ana berides our best strides. The Rio Grande once more. Sick Transit Gloria. The heroes of the Republic of the Rio Grande have fallen. Mora died buying time for refugees across the Rio Grande. Guerra fell defending the capital building, his wife's locket on his neck. Rosado died last of all of them, her efforts to cripple the general's army to no avail against the steel legions. Now an army of conscripts and robots marches through a ruined city, triumphantly informing the people that they are part of the Republic of Mexico. An orphan named Veronica watches in silence through hooded eyes. The general, she swears, will regret living, letting her live. Santa Ana bestrides with the Rio Grande once more, okay? The general has occupational aptitude test to prepare for the future. vault -Tac developed the Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test, or GOAT, designed to test every citizen's worth to society after the bombs fell, although we are currently screening for genetic damage. Some observe that we could simply make all the children take the GOAT when they turn 16. Children who do well on this test are obviously genetically hardy stock, well suited to the reconstruction, but or the parents can afford to hire qualified tutors, but surely that just shows their parents are fine Americans. Excellent idea, more oligarchy, less stability. How can this possibly screen for genetic damage? Well, I don't want to lose stability. I don't care about oligarchy stuff because we're still getting more gain every day, so. There we go, legitimacy. Or just. I don't really care. <laughs> I'll be honest, I really don't care too much right now. Uh, 39 cats, that's not bad. We're still making more divisions. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, look at all of this we can do. Reduce shifts, we get even more stability. We got the we got the stability or the political power for it. We might as well use it, right? We could get even more war support for research speed, which is fine. Reduce production shifts? I don't like that. I kind of want more weekly war support. We got the political power for it, so we might as well use it, right? Oh! Oh, look at that! Can we core something? Can we core this? Yes, we did. Ah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we have minus two electricity. Whatever. It'll be fine in the long, long run. And the courtyard? I should probably done the courtyard before Golconda, of all things. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Someone did say that they... They, they were smarter about this, and they puppeted the two areas that weren't, that you can't core yet, or immediately once you beat Vault City. Puppet those two Vault City provinces under Vault City, let them take out Cyclops Tribe, and let them core that, and such like, stuff like that. So they get more, you get even more manpower to use if you, you know, use puppet manpower, but, which is really smart, actually. But, I don't feel like doing it this time. Actually, what are we missing? Oh, well, if we extract maybe a little bit more, we might be okay. I'd love to do that, but let's get some more extraction. Let's do some steam-powered extraction. Might as well get more uh, army XP, right? Even though we're getting some every single day, so it doesn't really matter too much. But look at that stability. 44% already. Nice. Beautiful. So, yeah. Very good. Very good. Oh, good. Model communities? Why not? 
The new spawns would be nice. And then we'd probably do new nights and get that stuff. Model communities, though. We can construct settlements free of contamination for the best and brightest of America. Wastelanders who seek to build this dream can apply for residential passes. Oligarchy? Cool. Arms workshops, civilian workshops, infrastructure. We lose a little bit of manpower in Vault City, whatever. Introduce legitimacy even more. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, as I was trying to say earlier before I was thinking too much and saying too much, before we go to the NCR, I think I want to take out Antelope Tribes. Take them out, so that way we can core them, and get that much more manpower, that many more factories and resources, which obviously isn't that much. Because we can establish tributaries, but civilization by force is much better. We might do the Yakuza, but I would like the Brotherhood of Steel, no, the Desert Rangers to fight the NCR. I think that's probably better for us, just because... Brotherhood of Steel always dies anyways in my campaigns against the NCR, so... You're gonna fight him eventually, so... And additionally... Oh, what happened here? Oh, they're also allied. Oh, does that lock us out of that? No, not really. Fake reader broadcast causing the Desert Rangers to declare war on the NCR. Or, or the NCR. Oh, I would love, like that and keep the Yakuza here, so... Even though I'd like to call them immediately, that can wait, obviously. But I would love it if these guys would end up fighting... Oh, who they think is their ally. Also, I don't think I told you guys, but this is on a historical. I might have told you that. I can't remember this point. It's on a historical, though, so. Oh, man. Santana's looking pretty thick. Pretty large. Got off with that. Model communities. Legitimacy doesn't even matter. So let's go back over here. Because we can still use civilian infrastructure or military industrial complex. Which one is it? I'll let you know right after we break the tribe. All right, as it may to believe, these tribals are American too, or... Will soon be shortly. So, I kind of already alluded to it. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do military industrial complex or civilian infrastructure. And overall, there's a quite a bit, there's support for both sides, but there's quite a bit more support for civilian infrastructure. So, we're going to focus on developing new Reno's civilian economy, which will further our long term growth. So, we will go down that way because, as you guys, some of you guys pointed out, that will help us build more industry and build those civilian factories much faster. So, that'll be actually very, very good. Good, good, good. And we're almost done and ready to core this too, so that's actually really, really awesome. Actually, what? We're on 8%, right? We're on 8%. That's right. Ghouls and Dreamers, no thanks. I'm tempted to go with either Army Defense for 5% more or 15% more attack. That is pretty darn nice. The NCR. Oh, they're kind of fighting in Baja. Not a lot of manpower yet. That's good, that's good. Oh, they're doing pretty darn well, well down there too, so. I just hope that the Yakuza do not demand territory from us. How are we doing on guns? We're still missing a lot of infantry equipment. Wow. So we need more aluminum, which would be... Or composite materials. Hmm. Do we have enough planes? Well, we don't really need these guys here. Oh, there goes, there goes those guys. Let's get about... Oh, we got those transports. Gunships, even more. Nice. There we go. I'll have you all train for now. Train just a little bit more. Oh, break the tribe. Brotherhood rejects. Thank you. Mm, I did say I want to pair drop on the enemy. We'll see what happens, though. That's barely ahead of time. If that's the case, I'm going to grab my research speed real quick. Super circuitry. Thank you. And civilian infrastructure. Good. Further long-term growth. Grab your territory. So record. And soon enough, we will be able to connect to grid. There we go. It's all connected. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Improve working conditions. So tensions with the Desert Rangers. We can use our spies of so tensions between the Desert Rangers and NCR, making them break their alliance and any hope of support between them. That seems really, really good. I'm going to go and grab this, though. And we need a 140 there. That's not bad. Airborne assault. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. We do have one more opportunity to use... But I want to save my political power for the lowest opportunity, and we will get found out at the highest opportunity, but then we would have already gone to war with the Antelope tribes and try to core them as well, so. So tensions with them. Yeah. I think it's just worth doing that now. They just leave forever, so. Desert Rangers. NCR funding. They have a non-aggression pact with them. And now they can't join an alliance. Uh oh. 
Ranger cooperation, breaking the bunkers. Oh, maybe I should have waited. Well, I mean, they still can't join any alliance, so. Has a war with any member of the Kaiser's Legion. They get cores. New threats. Yeah, that's good. They can't save them. That's good. Hide activities. Oh, we still need hide activities. Uh, so we have, we'll, we'll spend the political power. Now we're running out of political power. We got 1.42 every day, which is not bad. And look at that stability. That's really, really nice. Holy cow. All right, so. Uh, there you go. And, yeah. We have eight divisions. That's pretty darn good, I'd say. So we got that done. And we're getting more stuff done. Drive out the Yakuza. I would like to have the war goal against them whenever we have it. So, we can wait. Let's grab some fighters. Just in a pre-modern warfare. A well-equipped, well-trained elite can dominate the battlefield. Today, America's fighters sweep the skies of mutant filth as their brothers sweep the ground below. Um, I might just make two for now. Hmm. Maybe not. There you go. Steam power extraction should help out a little bit. More output, please. Thank you. Now, how does that hurt our aluminum? It just barely gives a little bit more, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright. Promote the node. We might as well try to get a little bit more money, right? Now get 40. <laughs> Not that much more, obviously. If I just use a power armor, we could probably really make sure we don't have that many casualties towards these guys. Well, we gotta start thinking about going to war with the NCR. How many divisions do they have? I mean, we've got, what, less than 20? We got 19? They got so many. Yeah. So what we do have, we do have 8. That's really good. We might have 9, but we eventually will have 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we pair drop on all the victory points. That's probably still not enough. But with the debuffs that they get, that would be very, very good. So after this, new Spartans. Ooh, the cost goes down. Oh, we get advanced power armor too. Oh, battle power hierarchy. Very good, very good. Let's grab that as well. Hmm. The next focus, subsidized servants. Eh, we're kind of okay. We could do that one, but we don't need to do that. Yep. So, next one we're going to do would probably be Fear, Surgency, and Doubt. Old World Propaganda. Um, crack the code. Let's crack the code just in case. The NCR may believe the rudimentary encryption is enough to secure the communications, but our new radio system makes cracking their codes child's play. Now we can impersonate even their highest level command structure at least once, which is really good. Oh, we got the fighters. There we go. Nice. An immediate upgrade. It is a Xeon 85 fighter. And so we keep some of that efficiency there. Not a lot, but we still keep some. And that actually hurt a components. God dang it. Um, hmm. It's Lannis. I assume you play as them. Capture of Lincoln. Whoa. Wait, what? What is going on? Tower Walkers are doing well. Guys, I was Legion, of course, joined the Legion. Now they're... What? Oh, so they, they already killed off the White Legs, and now they're fighting. That really sucks for these guys over here. They get no supplies. Then again, why should we be concerned about them? We shouldn't. Man, how much political power are we getting? 1.52, that's not bad. I want to think, I think it's best to save political power for now, though. Rats, if you like to read about rats, go right ahead. I'm not too interested in rats myself. Let's see, 15 days, uh, 16 days so after the next one. We'll probably go and grab some radio as well. Okay, so how are we doing on guns? It's looking slightly better. We have a slight stockpile of power armor. Sport equipment is not bad. Actually, mm, we should probably get some chem companies. That'd be good, because we do have a little stockpile of support equipment, so that's not too bad. Oh, we're doing that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Military factories. Can we, I don't think we can trade any, with anyone here, can we? No. Let's build some more civilian factories first. If we can, so this way we can build up hopefully some more factories. Bishop incident. So yeah, let's go this one because they usually go to war. With, actually, if we can time it right, we could end up going having the NCR go to war. Hopefully, with the Brotherhood of Steel, the Desert Rangers, and us, and maybe anyone else they're currently at war with. The NCR has enjoyed fairly good relations with their eastern neighbors, the Desert Rangers. Still, a false flag attack combined with fake radio signals could get the two powers to believe the other has betrayed them. I want that decision, and I want these factories done so that I can build, 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 build even more. I'd love to do that, but mm, that's not really worth it. So we have reduced administrative burdens and such right now, so. 
Currently caps amount is actually not bad, 112,000. Not bad at all. So what I'm thinking right now, we're going to pay off the hide from activities from NCR once more. And then after that, we'll use our freebie by stopping resource extraction or whatever. And then we'll go to war. Because we're starting to run out of things here before we really do go to war, so. <laughs> Minus two electricity. Not really good, but hey, 41. That's a little better. A little better. Ooh, racks that can't again? Well, we got a little bit more caps this time. A lot of 1% stability for 10 caps. Whatever. Let's see. Military signing bonuses. We get 50 more weekly manpower. Wouldn't be bad. But hey, more enclave auxiliaries. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so you guys come here. Well, it doesn't work like that, I guess. Hold on. That works there, but this one does not. Oh, it's because it, duh. They're not on a line. They're just kind of hanging out. What is wrong with me? Don't answer that. Alright. We're going to go pay for this one, too. It's alright. We can't even get enough caps yet, so it, it just take some time. There we go. Bishop's Incident. We got that unlocked. That's great. Let's grab some anti-propaganda attacks. Do we have any spare guns yet? We really don't. What is wrong with this? Oh, my goodness. You know, I don't mind doing that. We need more guns now. anti communist propaganda. Far too many Americans have forgotten that the Red Menace is responsible for America's state. We can use Enclave Radio to remind them that communism is the very definition of failure once we explain to them what communism actually is. Stability, political power, cause of the Great War, good stuff for, for us. The Bishop Incident. And the Desert Rangers declares war on the NCR. I almost said NCR Republic. That doesn't make any sense. NCR. So we've got quite a while. At this point, we might as well just go to war then. Alright, boys. Light bombardment. A few planes here and there. Because I really want to core these areas. Really, really, really want to do that. Search of stability, but whatever. They attack us. We attack them. Not bad. Losses might include up to 10 people, maybe, perhaps. That's not enough damage. Only 30... Almost 50? Come on, we can do better than that. Losses include three. That's not good. Backyard workshop. Let's grab some more extraction. All right, Jacob Dwemer. I hope you're going to learn a lot here because, well, you're going to need to. Don't shorten the line. What you doing, son? You got an enemy right staring right in front of you. Tower walkers are gone. The Mormons are doing really well this campaign. And we're almost done in this area. Come on. Alright, I'm sending everyone up that way then. We lost a total of four guys. We've killed off a thousand. Not a bad casualty ratio. And now we're going to grab Scorched Earth for even more defense, breakthrough, soft attack, less reinforced rate, quite a bit less. But resistance growth speed goes down by 25%. That's not too bad, actually. Now we need Denio, and then is that it? Cool, I'm going to assume we lost like five guys in total, so. Cause of the Great War. As most Americans know, this world wasn't always a grim, dark land inhabited by raiders and deathclaws. As we reunite the nation, there are many still wondering who caused the Great War. The president could blame the Chinese for a bit of support, but most intelligent Americans recognize we, we made mistakes too. When asked, the president said, We'll never forgive the Chinese. Never repeat the mistakes of our past. Well, yeah, we lose war support for stability. Honestly, we'll never forgive the Chinese because I don't care about legitimacy, as I said before. It hurts us still, but not by that much at this point. It still hurts us, but whatever. Uh, war support. I could use more war support and political power. I love the political power, so. Great. Yeah, just in time to do some of this stuff. Civilization by force. These Americans have fallen on hard times. It's a burden of the Enclave to bring enlightenment to these begotten lands, whether they want it or not. Actually, if I could get away with doing this once more time, once again, that wouldn't be too bad. Desperados. Now, does any NCR go to war with anyone else? The Elite Breakthrough Tactics is good. It's actually very good. Let's grab some uh, some of this. That'd be good. No, they already took a Baja California, so we'll see what happens. Actually, we got so much political power. The Bishop Incident would be great, great, great. Warn of the Menace. Oh, we lose stability for way more war support. Wow. Completed. Now how much is it going to cost? Not sure yet. Sundogs, huh? Yeah, we're going to need... 
put a few things in the line here. Get one more done and go ahead and start building up a lot of outposts. Because they're going to be attacking all willy-nilly once this all begins. And remember, this is going to be a little pain in the butt to do. Um, that's two. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three. That's not bad. And keep working on that civilian stuff. There you go. Uh, yeah, we don't need to see that. That doesn't even matter. Oh, we do it again? Cool. And we get free cores. So, I love that. So everyone head on down to the airport and train, first of all, train. Secondly, we actually have now enough infantry equipment. That's so good. That's actually really, really good. Warn of the Red Menace. Hmm. Well, we have enough stability. Let's go and do that, because we can. I want max out war support, so. Huh, I thought, yeah, there was some sort of audio thing going on there, but whatever. Cool. Mojave, oh! Mojave Territories, and why is New Vegas light orange, beige-ish? Beautiful, yes. First batch. Well, I'm not sure why the Mojave Territories decided to go to war with them with no manpower, so. Hmm. They commit dumb actions. Drive out the Yakuza, we could do that. Old World Propaganda, Sage Raider attack, since we have enough... Infantry equipment now. In order for us to stay hidden, we must make sure that the new California Republic stays distracted from uh, with other enemies. By bribing nearby raiders into attacking the NCR border towns, we can ensure our obscurity as long as it suits us. You know what? We might take up the Yakuza anyways, especially if we get free cores on them. That's not bad. Free cores. Now, that would put us in a precarious situation where we can't have the Desert Rangers fall. Because if the Desert Rangers fall, then we're kind of all screwed. Not a bad idea. Hmm. And if we have more cores, we can get more manpower, right? Oh, tech, effective total manpower is 30%. It's not ideal, but whatever. And we still got we got enough time. So maybe we'll do that. I love free cores. I love getting more factories. I love getting more resources. We're gonna make ourselves as strong as possible in the beginning. We got plenty of guns for now. Uh, go and do that, maybe. Do that, and then do that. Yeah, definitely get, make it a little bit more. Oh, we, I got it for, can't forget. Field hospitals. Field hospitals, field hospitals, field hospitals. Good God, we need more composite materials. Arming raiders. It has been suggested we arm the raider factions boarding on the NCR. This would encourage them to attack NCR border towns, drawing the attention away from the potential from the bear away from us. You know, guns to spare. Ooh, we get even more political power. Let's arm the raiders. Send three hundred ones. Reduce NCR sus suspicion. Do we want to buy more time? That's really the goal. Do we want to buy more time? Time sixty, huh? You know, this. Whenever I choose this one, it never works for me because I never had enough infantry equipment. I love the war support. We already maxed out. I'm gonna do this one. Why not? Suspicion goes by, down by ten. Why not? Well, once it's done, of course, in about a month. And then the Enclave will, or the Yakuza, we are the Enclave. The Yakuza will get found out. And so your suspicion goes further down? Not bad. Oh, wait. And we still have a, a, a focus to do. I forgot. Old World Propaganda? Let's try that one. By reminding people that America once stretched from sea to the glowing sea, we can encourage them to support the Enclave and Scotland. It's only 30 days. Not bad. Yeah, at this point, by the end of this video, we will be at war with the NCR. We do want to remove this political indoctrination because that hurts us. Even though I don't want to lose all this stuff we've got already. What is giving us... Is there anything giving us more... Support? For the elites? Or just taking its support away from us? Grab some frequency analysis. Oh, uh, well, that's very short. And then I'll grab the logistic companies. Or field hospitals or whatever we want. Or whatever we need, really. Not bad. That stuff's okay. Are we losing any more? No, we're not. We can't do the shift stuff yet, but that's fine. Older propaganda? Cool. Drive up the Yakuza. The Yakuza pretended to be heirs to Japanese traditions, which would be fine if they weren't on American soil. Anything here that gives us more? Ah, uh, well, actually, we need army XP gain, painted rock. 
artillery attack. None of this is going to really help us, maybe except for ground support. The fall of Atzalan. The robots that storm into Mexico City find the Speaker's Palace strangely deserted. The Empire sweeps the fallen back to the coast, guarding the nation's people as they try to flee. The only person in the, pa in the palace or in storm is Speaker Yesenia Atzalanli. A Santa Ana's image is projected on the robots that come on, come in, his voice like sugar and honey. As another robot carries an elaborated, oversized parchment to the capital, the speaker lifted up their head. Do you know how it, a speaker dies, Santa Ana? They say, Tehon Claire Guzman heard the blast in Chichen Itza. Kaboom! I suppose. Hmm. I mean, this would be nice. Outpost construction speed, 20%. Uh, do we have enough? Oh, we can go to War Economy. I'm going to go to War Economy instead. That's better. Alright, don't forget this yet now. We got hospitals. Healing powder. Good. We still get 1.59 every day, so that's really good. Oh, we can still warn of the Red Mess again. That's not bad. Actually, it's only 180. That is not bad. Extract Spies, NCR Radio. Oh, we'll play highbrow, subtly pro-enclave pieces that are also criticized Shady Sands. But some within the enclave might get angry that we're spending time and resources to win hearts and minds instead of building more plasma guns. I forget exactly why that's important to do. I would change it. I mean, that's fine with me. I don't really care. I forget exactly why that's important to do. But it's important. Complicated circuitry it is. Do more research speed. Driving out of the Yakuza? Might as well. If we get free cores, look, I'm all about them free cores. All that slightly more manpower, a few more factories to use, building us up to be stronger and stronger and stronger. That's what it's all about. Scorched Earth, thank you. We're going to finish our land doctrine immediately with shock and all. Yes, please. Thanksgiving! Americans join the return of the 4th of July so much that the president's thinking about restoring more holidays. One of his favorite enclave traditions is Thanksgiving. we we'll require the roast death claw and eat sweet potato pie. We can revive this tradition for the entire country and ensure people are thankful for friends and family. Low, low prices from Caravan, Crimson Caravan. The enclave for the protecting family and friends. Uh, hmm. I like stability, but we can always get more stability. Caps? Caps are actually kind of something that we don't get a lot of right now. We can bribe more officials. Heck, we'll do that again. Why not? You know what? Stability, we'll get enough stability eventually. Legitimacy is not bad because we have none. Mm, 200 caps. We could get more manpower technically that way, so. Why not? These Coast Exiles, to our astonishment, a group of unrecognized vertebrates have approached our location with a legitimate enclave call sign. They are led by a lieutenant named Schultz, a sporting enclave power armor. Schultz traveled from the Raven Rock facility in the capital wasteland, leading a bird assault team dispatched by Colonel Autumn to savage assets from the ashes of Navarro and the Ray. The mission was a suicide errand designed by Autumn to purge opposition from his ranks. Those that survived found us, not ruins. While news of the illegitimate President Eden is troubling, most of the Enclave's vertebrates went east with Autumn's father, and Schultz's tactical experience could be invaluable in integrating the air power with Enclave ground forces. Surprise! A surprise, but a welcome one. We got more manpower? Oh, look at that. I'm glad I waited. Now we have no manpower. Political power, I mean. Daniel Shaky. Is this D Shaky? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it is. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Yakuza, let's see, Air Force, Ulysses Salomon, oh, even more, oh god, that could really make the ground attack and gunships just do so much damage. Actually, yeah, why not? Michael Schultz, cool, draw the Yakuza. Well, time to put them in their place. Uh, let's, let's go and grab this one, the new Spartans. By gearing our economy war machine around America's finest, we can gain more, or equip more units of powered armor. Waste centers not fit for service are better served supporting our economy. Anything else here? Bishop incident? Nope. That's fine. One of the Red Venice. Nothing to really care about here. And make sure we have our planes shifted in the right direction. That's important too. Heavy Trooper Doctrine? Nice. Let's grab some Who Dares Wins. Even more breakthrough. I love it. Alright, put these folks out of misery. We love Akari, but her little nation here, Japanese nation, is going to be under new management. Not enough special forces cap, eh? Well, we just made another few divisions here, so. I remember we lost none versus 400. Not bad, we just got encircled ourselves, but whatever. Uh, you guys head down here and then get to Carson City. There you go. Carson City's ours. You guys head over here, and you guys head over here. Nice. Get rid of them.
Good, good, good. Cleaning up the mess that is the Yakuza tribes, or territories. I always say tribes. It's their territories. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. We have the new Spartans coming along as well. And we're still lacking <laughs> plenty of composite materials. That sucks so much. So much. But, hey, this is not looking bad. Now we got to make sure that the Desert Rangers do not lose. So it's going to be kind of difficult. Hmm. How is the construction of all these things going along? It's it's coming. Actually, we've built a few outposts. That's kind of nice. So is my plan as soon or if the Western Brotherhood does go to war with the NCR, we attack as well. Now, if you actually back, she and Mojave territories. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the Mojave territories since it looks like Vegas is winning. So that's probably pretty good. And they're completely out of manpower, so... Well, the NCR is going to be kind of alone. I mean, sure, they have the Xi, but... Is that going to really be enough? So, we'll see. We'll see. Go and train with them gunships. Or no. Yeah, that's, that's cast. We need to build some planes up here, too. Bit more, 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 more. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Build that up first. That's more important. New Spartans. And let's get some more free, free quarters. Preserve Japanese culture and force American culture. The Yakuza imitate a vanish of Japan, but we know they're really Americans. They just need to be reminded. Even more factories. And actually, ooh, healing powder. Good, 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 good. We might even want more of that as well. Logistics is not bad. You know what? I'm going to grab a second dose of that. That would be good. Now on these guys, going through on the... Oh, we have no more arm XP. That's right. Hmm. Oh, they go over on the Alamo chapter. Good. Make them really large. Oh, wow. He's huge. That makes it easier for us for us to take out everyone there. And honestly, this will probably be a full full wasteland conquest anyway, so... Whatever. But I do promise by the end of this episode, we will be at war with the NCR. One way or another. And I've got to remind myself... Actually, I'll probably show this off screen. Because we'll have a fade and fade out. But I'm going to try to figure out and remember how to do pair dropping. Regardless, Raider Attack. Raider Attacks have been part of the daily hordes of Wasteland of Life. For many towns on the border of our controlled territory, this has not changed one bit. Recently, another report has come in about another small town ravaged by a raider gang, but this time we have a solid lead on the location of the perpetrators. Those responsible will be brought to justice. Kill them all and the gods sort it out? I like that idea. If they only had a better target for their raids. Oh, we lose legitimacy. NCR suspicion goes even further down? I love kill them all and the gods sort it out. That sounds like so much fun. I love the political power, but... Uh, we already have zero legitimacy, and I don't care. So bribe the raiders to attack the NCR in return for weapons and amnesty? Dude, this is too easy. I might just go to war with Cyclops tribes then. The Marrow Drinker is looking pretty thick too. Because it... I might just go to war with Pale Folk. Can we just go to war with Pale Folk then? Oh, that's not good. Um, would, that, would that really give us too much? Not really. Though, we could. But I'd rather just kill off the NCR now. But Mr. President, it appears that one of your vertebrates engaging in peaceful reconnaissance over Legion territory crashed. Sadly, our efforts to maintain technology that was designed before global atomic war two centuries ago, although impressive, is not perfect. Kaiser's men are ransacking the crash site, and although they probably cannot build vertebrates, it may give them insights into rebuilding their own air force. Well, at least the Brotherhood didn't get the plans. Whatever. Uh, you know what? Buff up the Legion. Seriously. They're going to need against San, uh, Santa Ana, as well as maybe the NCR, so... I'm really not too worried about that. Hey, we made one more division, too. Oh, the poor Max and Chapter's under attack. How sad. And how many more divisions can we make with this? Like, I'm doing every single focus we can do before we actually go to war with the NCR. As you can tell. Cool. Good. Free cores. I mean, who doesn't love free cores? So we got these two we can do down here. And we have this one. We have literally, like, three things left. Oh, we gotta do... Oh, man. Security. Oh. 100. Oh, okay. Oh, we had a good... Oh, well, duh. Mr. Mocha Lover, Enclave Mocha Lover, what is wrong with you? Don't ask. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we need to consider whether tax incentives can be used to promote healthy living in the survival of uncontaminated Americans. And perhaps we can take a few steps to remove impurities from the gene pool. How many more? Oh, we got plenty of guns, I bet. 14,000. Jesus Christ, that is so good. I mean, we can just hide from them. I'm not going to say forever, but for a long, long booty time. You know what? Begin a scavenging program, too. And you know what? Get some more stability. We could use that. Now, let's obviously keep going up, up, up. I don't really care. That goes to Alamo Chapter. We're still training our guys, and we're doing pretty well. Let's go through at least one or two more focuses before uh, we go to war with the NCR first. Before we do that, so that'd be good. There goes Maxon Chapter. No, oh, the poor Maxon Chapter. Poor, poor guys. And legitimacy. Actually, that. 
over here because we're going to basically we're going to go down this route but rebuilding a nation and we'll have to do the rule of law maybe oh do we do that one or do we do? no no we're doing this one the new order <laughs> every time i say the new order you know you probably know what i'm already thinking of i don't want to use any more army xp for this which we, we're obviously not but mm, i'm really a little worried about our manpower just a little bit for now for now just look at that Beautiful. Just, mmm. Love it. Desperados. Very good. Are we out of anything here? I mean, we're doing so well on all this stuff. And of course, once the war with the NCR starts, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. You know what? That's fine. You, I'm just going to duplicate you guys. <laughs> Complicated circuitry is nice. Radar could be beneficial, but we already have some radar. And I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this one down here for even more resource efficiency gain and more energy cell gain as well. That would be very important. And, well, I don't want to hurt our consumer goods, more oligarchy, more stability, but that's fine. Honest Americans need help managing their farms, their factories, and their homes. Many desperate wastelanders would jump at the opportunity. Extract spies, bishop incident. So, actually, so we can't just reveal ourselves to the NCR whenever we want. That's the thing I'm just noticing right here, right now. Because we can do the bishop incident, of course. We can extract spies. But we just can't. I guess technically we have to. We have to time it right. That doesn't seem. That seems very weird that we can't just do it whenever we want. We actually have to be found out. In two months, we'll be found out. We'll probably cease resource extraction, depending if the Brotherhood of Steel goes to war with them or not. We'll have to wait and see. But whatever. Oh, who does wins? Yes. I'm. And as you can tell, we're making our power armor as strong as humanly possible right now. Um. Even more. Let's get more defense for special forces for now. They're gonna they're gonna be on defense quite a bit. So, all right. So, what are you guys doing? Simplify designs. You guys are doing fortifying the capital. So be it. Whatever. And subsidize servants. And we shall do the next one as well. The last one we can really do because we don't have an hundred army XP is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. We will fan the flames of discontent within the NCR. News of corruption, outside threats, and broken promises will be spread by radio stations and spies. They can be nothing but fear, certainty, and doubt, in which they get minus 10% division and recovery rate, less stability, surrender limit goes down by 10%, they get 10% less war support, as well as minus 5% division attack. Not about defense, but attack, which is not bad. So, arming patrols, civil. oh, we also have the, okay, so that makes sense, the old world uprising, so we gotta go through this stuff as well. Totally fine, totally cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go, and I will be right back. All right, everyone, and here we are, ready for another focus. Uh, let's see, we just finished up fear, uncertainty, and doubt, but we now must organize a sympathizer. Many disillusioned citizens of the NCR have flocked to the message of the Enclave. It is time to help them turn their thoughts into actions. Our spies will contact as many sympathizers as possible and form bands of U.S. patriots, waiting patiently to use the weapons we supply them with. We lose a thousand infantry equipment, which is totally fine. We can arm patriots in any core NCR state. We got some more political power, and they get more technocracy support down here. Cool. As you can see, we have built up quite a few, uh, or put in the order for our Enclave Power Armor Division to land in very select states. So, I am a little worried about manpower since we are less than 400 guys now. Uh, off screen, I sped this up just a little bit to get through the last focus. So, we're, we, had, we got caught, we lost the spies, so we're sending out another 100 spies, which we need to keep here. So, Armorator games would be nice. I did spend the political power to go ahead and hide from activities. Oh. Whoa. Hello. Um, this is not good. Especially if they start raiding us here. That is really not good. Then now they kind of probably know that we <clears throat> are here. Well, that's not good. Um, oh, yeah, so that's that's definitely different. That's definitely different. I was not expecting that, but okay. I didn't know the NCR could raid uh, or, you know, yeah, start a border warp down here, so... Good to know. And once we're done organizing the sympathizers, we have another focus to do afterwards. Because I'm done now at this point, spending political power to hide from the NCR. If anything, we'll probably just go to war with them. And yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Really free fighters, gente del sol. Hopefully we can do well against the NCR, but we shall see what happens and we shall have the Californian Civil War. The petition for a constitutional convention to reform the NCR has reached the Senate and they refuse to hear it, much like other things. 
Proponents of the Enclave have taken to the streets and have been fired on by gun runners and un other NCR loyalists. The Californian Civil War has begun. Arming Patriots tutorial. We've gained the ability to arm Patriots. To do so, click on the NCR state and press the Arm Patriots button from the state menu. States that have armed patro Patriots will flip to our side and spawn militia units when we decide to start the California uprising. Arming Patriots costs more political power each time it is used. Americans will always fight freedom. Very cool. So, let's say we want down here. Do we want to arm some Patriots? Not a bad idea. Now, I would actually really, really like Redding, because that's probably another victory point. I've put victory points in, or had our divisions, or want our divisions to pair drop, where they have major victory points, like Tijuana, maybe, Greater, Greater Day Glow, the Hub, the Boneyard, uh, even Dana Point, obviously Capital, Junktown even. So, what I would like to see is Redding flip, so let's go with that. Let's see, Iron Patriots 25 would not be bad. I would like Patriots in Sac City as well, but... Mark Lee, why not? We got enough political power points that I'm not even worried about the war too much here. However, I would like every single border town to have militia. Because that makes it easier for us, first of all. And secondly, that allows us to get supplies over into the other areas that we need to get supplies into. So, now let's see. Trade right now, we're still minus seven. Whatever. It is what it is. And we still can only have eight divisions, which really, really sucks. Can we throw one more on, please, maybe? If we... where are we at with this stuff? I'm currently fielding 64, I'm trading 8 of our 70 allowed, so we need 2 more. The limit is 27. 152 is a minimum of 70. Oof. Ace clear one Hammond, so be it. Arm Raider gains, we could if we really wanted to. Uh, suspicion goes down, but I don't care anymore. That'd be a waste. Foxwoods auction, make our divisions even stronger, especially when they land. We got some dynamite as well. Let's grab some heavy trooper open area tactics as well. And... In addition, we are doing some uh, militia training, so that's pretty good. Support equipment, oh yeah, we're doing okay. We would need some anti-tank eventually, but we should do okay without it for now. So, oh, cybernetics, trickle back, less factory output, but even less XP loss. Well, we'll do that eventually. Let's, let's wait on that one first, though. Uh, research speed, a little bit too ahead of time. Recycling could be really good. Power stations actually would be really good as well. Let's grab some basic tools. Very good, very good. California Civil War, very nice. Uh, I don't think the NCR is fighting anybody. War declare one that withering dogs. Industrial core. They're going scouring the old city. It's only 2279. Hopefully the Legion can go to the war with the NCR as well, maybe, but you know what? I think I usually say that whenever I fight the, the NCR eventually, so. Mm, we have enough equipment. We have almost 700 pieces of inf power armor, so. Very nice. Plant cultivation, great. Let's go ahead and grab some of this crop rotation next. We're still training more divisions, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to deploy you. That won't give us another division, but whatever. Wow, we probably can't deploy any more divisions then. So be it. Because i got to save at least a little bit of manpower. Scavenger turn triumphant. Great. Time for some new world hopes. We get a bonus to our land auction that we don't really need, but okay. Californian Civil War. Awesome. 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 And we're out of focuses right now. Now we get a lot more political power. At this point, I just want to start the Civil War. Or, the, or just the war period, so... Let's get a lot more political power. Lower tariffs. If you would like to read about this, go right ahead. 183. Um, I don't really care about them. I really don't. So, Old World Uprising. The Californian Revolution. Extract spies. Uh, the Bishop Incident. Armed Raider Gang. So, Uncle Dave Lewis are ready to rise in our support. It's time for the Eagle to slay the bear. Yeah, I want to give it a little bit more time. We might be able to pop out at least one more division. Maybe? Maybe? We'll see what happens. I mean, they'll go to war with the NCR Rangers. And actually, let's just double check and see what the things are for. Has spies in NCR. Desert Rangers can declare war against them and is at peace with the NCR, which is good. So we'll do both of these at the same time. Let's see. Where can I spend some more political power at? I mean, Sac City would not be bad to get. Military training is nice, though. That was a really good way for her. Let's get some more breakthrough for her infantry because they'll be fighting very... with a lot of heart, we'll say. With a lot of heart. Actually, can we spawn Patriots down here? No, we cannot. That would have been actually kind of cool. Arm Patriots down here. That's a little far away from where we're at. So, Gunnerson Ranch. Hmm. Sac City would be nice. We just land in there and, and just take it over. Actually, that would be pretty nice to do. Let's go and do that. Sponsor Railway. Oh. By rebuilding railways that have laid in ruins since the Great War, we can open new opportunities for economic growth. All right, not bad, not bad. I mean, I guess there is a strategy of making the Enclave Power Armor Divisions like 10 combat with each, so you have more divisions in total, which does make sense, but where we're going, I want to make sure that we have 
Strong divisions no matter what. And military signing bonuses actually would not be bad right now. Oh, I kind of want, want to do that for more weekly manpower. But we're going to click on this as soon as we go to war, since we do get more non-core manpower, which would be nice. So, let's wait a little bit first. Uh, ooh, that's not bad. Actually, how much would it cost to get more Patriots? 125? Can we get to... We can probably get to 125. This is going to, you know, expire, whatever. I don't really care. But we could, might be able to get 125. Armor Patriots. Go to war. Send our guys out. There goes the Mojave Territories. Thank goodness. And what are they up to? The bear port. Power management. No focus set. And advanced communications. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Merrillville Ranch. Old Chico. Well, they're both pretty equal in terms of everything. Hmm. Welding Ranch. Why not? Alright. Here we go then. Mm -hmm. Operation security is... The Enclave rumors are true. And to do this, the CS Patriots ready to rise up for America? Well, I guess it's time to go. Mr. President, we're here to bring the reports from the NCR radio chat in reference to the facilities. We've also received one report of NCR spy something to one of our conference rooms, which we've read before, blah, blah, blah. Time has come. Declare war. All right. Old world uprising. Further demoralization. California Revolution. Well, technically speaking, more of an invasion. With the support we've built up with a desperate and destitute in the NCR allows us to portray the events as a popular uprising. Our signal has been sent across the nation. It's time to take up arms against the corruption of the NCR regime. Down with the bear, up with the stars. They welcome us as the liberators. Look at that. Now that's good. Bishop Incidents. Oh, wait, that's 30 days? Oh, my bad. I always mess that up. I always mess that up. Don't I? Actually, that's a case. I don't remember which one of you is supposed to go here. Uh, it's better that you... And, let's see, one, two, two, three, da dum bum Probably down there would be good as well. That's, yeah, there's nothing other, anything else that's major up there. Just go ahead when you can. Oh, this is dangerous. This is a dangerous game we're playing here. Other militia units, 12. It's only 12 divisions, which is not ideal. Thomas, Rimmy, Rim, you got two attack. You're pretty good on everything else, so. We'll go and select you. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, maybe we should stop training our divisions at the same time. Gosh dang it, Mr. Mokalover, what are you doing? Uh, promote this person, that's fine. Because I want one solid front line since you guys are going somewhere else. Cutting leader, more max planning. I'm going to go ahead and grab... I'm going to grab more defense, really. Wait, what? There we go, that's better. Make sure we get the planes as well. All right, standing by. Good. One, two, three, four. And then half of you guys. Well, I don't want just you guys. You guys do. There you go. Help out. Take them out. Don't let them escape. Don't let them go anywhere. Kill these divisions off immediately. we got to get ready too, so. Do not let them escape. All right. Well, while this wasteland, they, do, are, they are allied with a she. The Fall of Shady Sands, the Hall of Congress is ours, thank goodness. Uh, actually, you actually have some... Oh, okay, that's not bad. Well, we've landed, and... Okay, we took him out! <laughs> that was so much faster than I thought it would be! Oh my goodness, that is... Holy bad words. Um... The silos. The signals are tracked to missile silos that survived the Great War with bombs ready to go off or engineers safely deactivate the nukes, but we need to decide what to do with them. Some scientists suggest mothballing the nukes and using the plutonium for peaceful means, but nuclear missiles can give us a powerful tool to finish liberating the United States. However, what we'll if found the launch codes for the nukes, which records which records on the base suggest we're sort of the military base in Northern California? But how do we lose them? Some scientists suggest we could have set off the nukes by accident if we aren't careful, but only an idiot could do that. We're not. We are not trade glory for savagery. Dismantle the nuclear weapons, or you cannot reach out to fellow Americans to hell with that. The Chinese menace, San Francisco, was one of the greatest cities of pre-war America, center tech and window to the world. It was now occupied by the, by the Shia Chinese beachhead on American soil. Some say we must drive them into the ocean, others mindful of Camp Turtle Dove and other pre-war mistakes suggest we give the autonomy, city autonomy and welcome the Shia into the United States. A Chinatown on the West Coast? I think not. That actually went way better than I thought it was going to go. Like, no joke. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the way it's going to go. Titanium Terror sounds really awesome, actually. And if we have to go to war with them, 
What if we just cut them off and then had the rest of these guys just go on in and sally forth and beat the snot out of them? Mm, yeah, that could work. Maybe. Cut them off. Just in case, I'm going to have these guys cut them off as well. There you go. That's all I want, because I want the other three divisions to come over here and attack like hell. If we can't piece these guys out. So, if we have all these factories... Uh... Dynamite, yeah. Lots of dynamite. Um... Planes? Yes. Cool, yes. That's that's good. Ships, convoys. That's all we need. Devil up on them. Please tell me we can just peace out. Please let me just peace out. Oh, come on. The sheep joined in. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, actually, that's okay. Wait, um... This is definitely not how I was expecting to go. This was... Re I love pair dropping. I love it so much. All right, well, you know what? Here's here's the deal. The art of the Enclave deal. I'm gonna do this. Instead of a fallback line right here, I'm gonna... You know what? I don't I don't want these divisions. I, re I don't want them. I might keep them... Uh, we'll keep them for now. I really don't care for them. But... Oh, more factories? Eh, not that much more. Transports, why not? That's, we didn't even need that, really. Let them come in, and we'll be fine. Go, 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 everyone. It's part of California. I'm not even going to move you around. Um, cargo planes. Northwest. Northeast. Northwest. Eastern California. Thank you. You guys are taking your sweet time, but actually, they're not moving too slowly. They're moving fairly quickly, or what I want them to do. 12 kilometers per hour. That's pretty darn fast, I will say. Restore songs? Why not? Sponsor railway? The Legion marches. With the fall of New California, the greatest opponent of the Legion lies in ashes. Who's going to stop Kaiser and his bid to conquer the wastes? Have not completed the Legion marches. What does that do? Um, let's do the New Citizens Care Package, too, just because I want less stuff there. And military setting, but actually, how much money do we get? Wow, we got a lot of money. How much money do we get, period? 22? That's not bad. Um, if these guys are going to be like that, I'm going to go ahead and just attack them anyways. Be careful what you wish for. The destruction of the NCR has left our army overextended with raiders and super mutants attacking outlying towns. The people of the NCR are bitterly divided them between, these, between those who hope for a better future and those who fear the power armor marching through the towns. NCR loyalists are taken to the hills, sniping under men, supply convoys. Factories and caravan routes lay idle, as merchants fear whether their dollars are worth the paper they were printed out on. And California's leadership awaits their fate, wondering if they can work with the United States, or they'll end their days at a camp in the Mojave. The Enclave has won, but time will tell if, in destroying the NCR, America has lost. Shady Sands Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried their luck at integrating into the NCR. I'm moving this on. While a no large number were found out and arrested, many more successfully began their new lives in Shady Sands. Those people and their descendants have now petitioned, to re petitioned us to rejoin, the NC to rejoin the Enclave. They turned their back on the Enclave. How dare you? How absolutely dare you? So we've lost no guys. They haven't lost any guys either. Give them time, for they will perish to, the to us. I almost said the NCR for some reason. God, I love the Enclave. God bless the Enclave. And when can we... Oh, Okay, not bad, not bad. You know what, just in case, I don't trust the Legion, so here's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four. I'm glad that New Vegas did, was so successful. Now, they'll probably land guys here, but by the time they land guys... Our power armor should be done. We should be able to push into the Legion territory, too, if we need to. Great. Perfect. We don't even need to use the militia divisions, which is fine with me. I'll just keep them back here for now. Oh, we can actually upgrade something? Well, that took a while to do. Huh. Alright, so can we start building up some workshops here? Connected to grid, of course, that one is. Oh, we didn't need... Oh, we need salt, please. Oh, man. <clears throat> I don't... I remember this stuff. I don't like this stuff. Connected grid, the police force thing. Oh, God. Well, I guess it was a waste building all those factories then. Huh. And I know I should build buildings a lot more efficiently, but I don't really care right now. Crop rotation is very nice. Very, very nice. Let's grab some part standardization. Economic resurgence. Contact, oh, contact loss. I should have read that one. I thought it was another one of those, but whatever. And... Send rescue team. Broken masks. Oh, there it is. There's the other economic resurgences. How many men have we lost? Zero. They've got 159. That's not enough. Found the expedition. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. 
How much manpower does she have? Encourage women to serve. Hello, Dr. Shang Yang Yang. Wow. Oh, okay, so now we've signed a white piece. Okay. Cool. So, we're done with this side here. Yeah, we've done all this. We've done this. We've done all that. Now we're going to spend a lot of time with rebuilding America. And we still don't have enough army XP. So let's end this episode on rebuilding a nation. We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run, reformers. Get the job done. We'll be known as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. And get the event. Rebuilding the United States requires more than plasma guns. We must restore order to the waste and show why the Enclave is the world's last best hope. But I hope you really enjoyed today's episode, especially with our quick little war against the NCR. Those Republicans didn't know what hit them. Regardless, if you did, consider, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. We can no longer build things here. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow as we shall rebuild California into what America should be. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.